what a day of action already. World Championships 2017. We're in Scotland. We're at the Emirates Arena. And Lind Dan, the legend of men's singles, has just made it through to give himself a chance of a record-breaking sixth gold medal if he can overcome Victor Axelsson in tomorrow's men's singles final. We've got women's doubles action for you next. It's Fukushima and Hirota of Japan, the number nine seeds. They're up against Christina Pedersen. Sorry, Cam Christina Pedersen and Camilla Yule of Denmark, the number two seeds. Well, you can see there one of the players in today's semi-finals, Chen Ching Chen of China, and her partner Jia Yifan through to the women's doubles final. Chen featured in the mixed double semis finals as well. They await the winner of this semi-final here in women's doubles. Well, an absolute mountain to climb last night for both of these women's doubles pairs. They came through in three games, both of them. It went right down to the wire. Welcome. It might just Welcome. take its toll on both pairs. Welcome. Welcome. Well, Susan Taylor's ready red? with the toss of the coin. Red? Black it is. You will serve. Which court is court? And who will receive? Yuki. Well, you heard it there from umpire Susan Taylor. Yuki Fukushima to receive the first serve. The Danes will be serving from the near side of the court. Let's take a look at our pairs. Camilla Rita Yule, 33 years of age from Skagen in Denmark. Up at their career high, it feels like they've been up there on and off for years, really. Number two in the world rankings. Her partner, Christina Pedersen, 31 years of age from Aalborg. And, well, they've done it the hard way this week. What a tournament for them. They've spent hours on court. Quarter-final yesterday, 27-25 in the third, 84 minutes. That straight game victory in round three took nearly an hour, and they went to three also in round two. Let's hope they're not showing too many signs of fatigue in this Women's double semi-final, their opponents, Yuki Fukushima, 24 years of age from Kumamoto in Japan. They're up at their career best as well, number nine in the world. She and her partner, Sayaka Hirota, 23 years of age. Her birthday this month, in fact, let's see if a place in tomorrow's final might prove to be a great birthday present for them. And look at that quarter-final yesterday. Second and third game going right down Ready to the to wire. Play. 101 minutes, one of the longest matches we've seen this week against the Koreans. Well, the head-to-head, 4-0 to the Danes. Their last meeting went to 3, 21-18. That was the Australian Open back in June. It seems the Japanese are getting closer and closer to their Danish opposition. There's Susan Taylor once more, our umpire for today's semi-final. She'll be helped out by Mike Wright from England, our service judge. Glass, you know these two Danes very well indeed, of course, former head coach of the Danish national team. How good are Camilla and Christina at the moment? Are they at their best? Uh, 
I think they are, but they um, they have struggled a little bit so far in uh, in the tournament um, and played some some really tight matches. But um, they have shown the mental strength to uh, to come through, and and uh, and now they they have a medal. And of course, they want more. But but I think that can loosen up their their game a little bit. Um, but we will see how uh, ladies and gentlemen how they get started here. On my right, Camilla Ritterjul and Christina Pedersen, Denmark. And on my left, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota, Japan. Christina Pedersen will serve to Yuki Fukushima. Love all. Well, Pedersen with the first serve, the Danes in the dark strip. Nearest us at the bottom of your screens. Good power from Fukushima, but an even better block into the open One space love. from Camilo Rita Yule. see that all that often Christina Pedersen with one of the best serves in level doubles okay. oh. wild smash from Fukushima Coach just reminding her that the court is this way. Yeah, and the coach to the left here, uh, Satako Suetsuna, who uh, was a, a women's doubles player herself, won the uh, bronze in the World Championships in uh, 2011 in London, uh, together with uh, her partner, Miyuki Maeda. Turn of serve from Yule. Hirota sent the wrong way. Three, two. It's the accuracy that's done the job directly onto so that right hit. Three, all. Last, why is that so difficult to return? I mean, it she couldn't even get strings onto the shuttle. No, oh, normally she would, but but the problem is it's it's hard to give it a lot of angle when you uh, when you hit it there. So it's it's. Uh, Likely that the net uh, net player from the attacking side can can guess uh, the line of uh, of the uh, smash return and and by that intercepting the next uh, the next shot and, and put even more pressure uh, than uh, the pressure that came from the smash. The shuttle working well for the Japanese pair. That rally, 40 shots long. Yeah, 
Yeah, great rotation. Pedersen so used to playing with Yule. She played that block at the net and got out the way to allow her left-handed partner to attack. Yeah, and Hirota uh, got a little bit too ambitious there. That that shot uh, challenge at the net, uh, she can do uh, against a lot of players in the world, but, but not against an experienced mixed player like uh, Christina. Good defending from the Danes, good length. Five, four. Hirota trying to take the shuttle early, but the length was too good. Just out of her reach. Yeah, and this time the, the smash doesn't hit the, the right hip, and, and that leaves room for, for Pedersen to, to uh, use her forehand, and, and by that giving uh, the return angle. Turn of serve. Over. From Camilla Yule. Feel yeah. like the momentum's with the Danes at the moment, Lars. Uh, that's not much in it, but but it's an example of, of uh, one of the areas where the Danes are very strong in, in the return of service. They're very aggressive, and and if the return doesn't go down, then they are ready to follow up on on the fourth shot. Another smash wide from Fukushima. And again, a lot of aggression in the service situation. Well, big swing from Yule, perhaps her downfall. Oh! Well, clever choice of serve, I think, this time flicking out Seven wide four. to Yule. She's been so dominant in return of serve. A good change up for the Japanese. Yeah, exactly. And really looking for the opportunity to counter attack here by stepping forward and meeting this, this drop shot early. Oh! Well, the drift carrying this one back into court. It looked all the way to be going wise. Can understand Yule's indecision. A drop from Pedersen. No! Again, the change up working well this time for the Danes. Yeah, and so both pairs will be very focused on not showing uh, physical oh. weakness. Um, they, they both had, as you said earlier, very, very long matches uh, last night and uh, they, they want to show the opposition that uh, they have recovered fully from that and by not uh, taking any uh, undisciplined uh, choices on the court. Yeah, absolutely. And, well, you need to be physically and mentally strong to 
make a shot like that. The change up taking the pace off the shuttle from good position. Clever play. Christina Yule hitting winners so far in this match, but the score still close. Danes in front just by one point. making well use of their uh, left and right hand uh, combination. Yule takes it the, the first time because it's in her forehand, but leaves it the second time because that's going slightly towards her backhand. And there's uh, Christina Pedersen ready with her forehand. Well, it's uh, from Pedersen, the error in return goes long and it's Denmark in front and the game into 11 <laughs> Eleven nine. Play. Well, Lars, uh, what news? Who was that, and what did he say? You must be ready to pick up. Um, yeah, first of all, we can notice the difference in, in coaching styles, where the uh, the Japanese coaches uh, Nakashima and uh, and Suetsuna, they were talking to each their player, and the uh, Danish head coach uh, Kenneth Jonasson, he was. He was talking to the pair, um, coaching both of them at, at the same time. Um, he was, uh, Jorgensen was, uh, was quite happy with uh, what, he, uh, what he had seen so far um, and, and just had a few uh, like specific advices about uh, to uh, with Ayul where, where she should place her, her smash from the forehand side. Well, good pressure again from Ruti Yule. Service over. 12-10. Going at the body first of Hirota and then Fukushima. Straight block from Pedersen. Oh, great defence from Yule. Oh, it's brilliant from Denmark. Good court coverage and good 13, shot quality. 10. Yeah, and that was one of the things, the other things that, that Jonasen emphasised that he was happy with, that was the, the defence of, uh, of his two players. So. He said, keep believing in, in your defense, and uh, that saved them here. Next to him is uh, assistant coach uh, Thomas Stangor. Riverjewel 
Peterson Challenge pulled out. Well, the result of the last two rallies based on the length of the shots out of the back. This one with the challenge from the Danes. Hawkeye confirms that it was, well, a good few inches long. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 11-14. Play. Yeah, well played, Fukushima, trying to take the attack off the Danes. Forcing them to try and get a great length. 12, 14. To stay out of trouble, this time the flick defence. Going out long and it brings Japan back to within two points now. again from the Japanese. 13-14. Yeah, and, and both pairs are looking for these uh, turnovers or counter-attacks where, where they can catch the opposition uh, in offense but off guard uh, with a with a defense with, in, with interest and, and then uh, put in a counter-attack afterwards. Contest so far. The score all square at 14 all, and an, an even year really when it comes to the performance of these two pairs in international competition. Comparing the results of these two last night, the Danes back end of last year with that win in Japan. A couple of weeks later, it's the Japanese pair that win in Chinese Taipei. Followed by the Danes then winning in Hong Kong. Can I see? Can I see? Change. Change. Change of shuttle. And then the Japanese pair win in Malaysia, the Danes win in Singapore. It's, it's all square really when it comes to performance over the last 12 months or so. The Danes perhaps had a springboard by already being so far up the world rankings in women's doubles. I, I was wondering that 16, that block to the net was, uh, was a little bit soft and loose from uh, from Yule, but then she, she calls to Christina and said, uh, I'm all gone. That was because her, her racket was was virtually all gone. Uh, not possible to, to play with it. Yeah, I heard the broken string. I didn't realize she'd actually broken the frame of that racket. I think there was a clash of rackets in the middle there, wasn't there? Metal on metal, which... And these rackets are strung at Play. such a high tension. Take a whack to the frame, that doesn't take much to break them. Denmark mixing up the attack, but the Japanese defense equal to it. What a backhand from Yule, but Pedersen's lacked the same quality. Great rally for the Japanese. 17 14. 
Well, Pedersen perhaps could have left that for her partner, Camilla Ritter Yule. Great defence initially from Denmark, but the pressure too much. Fukushima working so hard at the back of the court. 18, 14. Yeah, but the Danes are, are quite frustrated that they cannot open the, the defence of the Japanese pair. They have uh, really, really got uh, good confidence right now in, uh, in defence, and, and then they're just waiting for... Uh, for a situation where they can catch the Danes off guard. Well, a string gone, is it? Perhaps not just a so miss hit over. from Hirota. 15. And 18. a very aggressive, and, and you can see here she's actually doing almost top spin, uh, Camilla Rodoyul, uh, on the return here. I just think that that, that took Hirota by surprise. Pedersen taking an age with the serve. Oh, good try from Yule, but it's long. Good anticipation, saw the opportunity to take the attack off the Japanese. But it's been a much better second half of this game for Fukushima and Hirota. Ah! Oh! 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 Service over. 16, 19. Court. 17. Yeah, and a good choice 19. by by Yule to uh, to make a a different angle and a different speed in in her attack. Uh, the one of the reasons why it's it's quite uh, simple for the Japanese to uh, to hold the defense is that the attack is at the same speed all the time. Here we can see uh, they mix in a drop shot as well as, and a sliced attack from. Uh, Oh, with the help of the net cord. A little luck from the Japanese. Twenty game point seventeen. Let let Japan coach. Japan coach. Why? Play. Japanese coach trying to interact with her players, just being warned to keep it to the intervals. Whilst Japan have game point here in the first. And Yules smash this time into the net. It's Japan. First game. With a consistency Shima, in attack, Sayaka they've Hirota, seen it through the second half of 17. that opening game, and they are ahead in this women's doubles semi-final, 21-17. Oh, 
ビデオを見て自分のイメージ左右必ずこれを使うよフォアの奥必ず前、はい、前の人のバック前落とすいいそんなクロスすぐクロス間違った場合もあるけどもっと減少するようにね自分全然余裕ある時は構わない大勝負して構わない、ね、ちょっと本当に素直にまっすぐ落としてねここ必ず覚えてあと自分ショートサーブ手出すのはここでこういうの早めに狙う特に福島、まだ見てない。これもいいのを、リムス。いや、リナンス。はい。さ、さ、ヘフ、ヘフ、ライフ、オイ、リス、バイキム、バイキム。え、これ、リーリス、ここまでいいのかな。キム、それ、ベンドポーズ、ポーズ、ストーチ、ベイチが、すぐにここ。ええ。ええ。これは、いや、だいぶ、ふまだやつ、でか。Du ser, du 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 ser, Well, I felt last the Danes made a couple more winners in that opening game, but also perhaps under a little more pressure at times with a couple of errors. The consistency of the Japanese seemed to see them through. What did you get from the coaching staff during that interval? Yeah, but it was, it was a lot about uh, encouraging uh, the Danish girls and, and make them believe that it's, uh, that it's possible. Um, Jonas and said uh, at, at one point we have been in in situations that that was much worse than this one um, and uh, and I think actually it's I, that that the Japanese girls they made uh, almost an even number of winners um, they were very good at um, after their counter attack then on on their first uh, after the transition between defense and, and offense. Then uh, actually they killed a lot of the, their first smashes, and that's normally a, a situation where the Danes are, are very strong. Um, so they will have to uh, to improve their level of the Danes in in uh, and almost all all areas of, of the game, uh, because uh, otherwise I think so far the the Japanese girls have, have looked stronger today. Well, that previous rally, great rotation from the Danes and great power from the wrist of Yule. But in response, great rotation once more, tying the Danes up. Another broken racket for Christina Pedersen with that clash. Yeah, but it's still the, the, the Danish defence is still has a character of, of survival more than, uh, than playing with an interest. Um, and that's all credit to the uh, to the attack of uh, of Hiroda and, uh, so, so and Fukushima. Two, one. Backhand from Yule in defense. 
gets the attack back for the Danes. Well, what a rally. An example of the level of women's doubles we come to expect. from Camilla Yule. Service over. Yeah, Two, and, and better three. quality in the uh, in the lifts, in the transition between their own offense, the Danes, and, and then when they have to, to make the first, first lift and go into defense. And, and that means that uh, that they can hold the, uh, hold the defense uh, against the Japanese attack. Service error from Rita Yule, not helping the Dane cause in this women's doubles semi-final. Yeah, and as we have seen in in their previous matches in this tournament, they are they are they are struggling to to find their their normal level, um, but they have a great fighting spirit and and. Uh, I'm sure it's it's not over yet. Three, four. Yeah, that fighting spirit. It's taken Rita Yule and Christina Pedersen to an Olympic final. That final last against Matsutomo and Takahashi in the Olympics, 21-19 in the third. Service over. Five, three. And a similar kind of story, the last World Championships, Jakarta 2015. In the final, they took the silver then as well, 21-15 in the third. Tian Ching and Zhao Yunlei bettered them on that day. Ah, but they were definitely a lot closer to the Olympic gold than they were to the uh, World Championship gold in, in, uh, in Jakarta. Um, they were winning 19-16 in, in the final game uh, yeah. against Takahashi and uh, Matsutomo. Things not seven, quite seven, going their way at the minute. Seven, Richie Yule and Pedersen. Four. No, and if uh, Hirota and Fukushima can 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 finish this and and uh, progress to the final, then uh, it, it will be the best uh, world championship for for Japan since uh, 1977, um, where up until this championship they had their only uh, finalists. And winners actually in in uh, women's doubles Four. when um, Togano and uh, Ueno uh, became the first uh, world champions in in this discipline. But uh, until this morning, where Okuhara um, progressed to the to the final, they uh, they haven't had uh, any other finalists. So uh, they can become uh, only the third finalist from uh, from Japan in in world championships. Oh, great change from Fukushima. Nine, Slice drop shot out wide just to mix things up. A clean winner for her. more from Ruta Yule.
Silva with some luck from the net court in the end. Another epic rally in this semi-final. Yeah, but the Danes will be very happy with this rally because no. uh, that's the first time the, the defence really, uh, really looks solid. And uh, and both girls, they, they have a little bit looser arms than, uh, than what they've have, uh, had up until now. And, and that normally uh, gives, uh, gives better, better shots as an outcome. Yeah, you're right. We've seen a few points where the Danes have snatched at the shuttle. Let's hope perhaps they're now... They find their range and they can hit freely. Oh, Pedersen tries to drive back the smash. A little too ambitious, perhaps. Service over. Ten, six. <laughs> Great return of serve from Patterson. Uh, her trademark return here. Service over, 7 10. Shows with the face of the racket and her body that she's pushing towards the backhand corner, and, and then she turns the racket and, and pushed the other way. A lot of players have uh, gone the wrong way on that one. But the Japanese attack solid. The Danes unable to keep the shuttle in play, and Japan in the lead in this game, 11-7 at the break. I Japan on court now. And Danish coach uh, Jonasen is uh, trying to inspire his uh, players uh, to minutes. the to the fighting spirit and uh, to play together seconds. as a team. Play. Yeah, they'll certainly need it to come back into this game. A game down and 11-7. And an early point, the pressure really on the Danish pair now. Great straight attack from Hirota. 13-7. Play. Lucy Yule expecting the attack down the middle, down the forehand side, but 
and able to get back with the backhand. Oh, and luck not going their way right now, Denmark. 14-7. No, it's not, and, but, but I also think they're pushing their luck a little bit, uh, and, and it seems like the, uh, the Japanese pair has recovered uh, better than the Danes from, from the very tough quarterfinals uh, last night. They are a little bit quicker in, quicker in movement uh, than the Danes, and, and that's maybe the reason why the, the Danish girls are um, taking a, a little bit uh, too big risks and by that making uh, a little more mistakes than they can afford. Yeah, the Japanese pair looking just that little bit fresher, making fewer weak shots. Except this occasion. But maybe the Danes have to rely on their experience. So Jules is playing her 10th uh, World Championship. And of course, the best result so far was the, was the gold medal in, in 2009 in, in mixed doubles with uh, Thomas Leiborn. Stretch to French Fukushima, managing to keep the rally going. Dane still holding the attack. And Hirota perhaps feeling a little fatigued as she strolls around the court after that missed forehand. Just a bit too ambitious, keeping it so low. Ready? Yuki, don't put the hand up, just be ready. Serve out wide, sets up the attack for Ruta Yule, and she dispatched it well. 11-14. Really took Fukushima's head off with that forehand into the body. Crouch defence, she did well just to get her head out of the way. Yeah, well played, Patterson. Well, Christina Patterson going for the cross smash, trying to then follow in, get you all back to the back. Another long rally, and the Danes still maintaining the attack, at least for a moment. But it's hard work out there, and that shot looks a little tired. Yeah, and I'm sure that, so, that so uh, Hirota and Fukushima 15, is, is uh, 11. a little bit relieved. <laughs> at least the coaches are uh, after this rally, because they were feeling that the Danes were, were coming a little bit... Uh, too close on the scoreboard and and Fire. maybe fearing that that they would start to to play their their real level which we uh, we haven't seen so far today Come on. 
Well, left to the last moment, Pedersen decides to clear. Good rotation and the net helping Christina Pedersen. Yeah, and Japanese coach uh, Kei Nakashima is uh, pointing towards the the ceiling of the uh, of the arena here. Um, he wants his his players to keep lifting, keep working the Danes hard on on the baseline. Service over. 12-15. Play. So the Japanese sensing that the Danes are feeling tired after that long quarter final last night. That one, of course, against their teammates Shiho Tanaka and Kol Haru Yonimoto. 27 25, a nail biting finish. An exhausting 13, work 15. late last night. Drop from Hirota used well. Pedersen struggling to get forward. Challenge, Individual yes. Individual Peterson challenge called out. Well, this could be a huge turnaround point in this semi final if this one is indeed out. The line judge seemed to take ages to decide, and that's why it's half in, half out, which means. It's called good. Correction in. Service over, 14, 16. As long as a part Play. of the shuttle has contact with the line, then uh, it's in. Yeah, we've seen some in incredible calls this week, and Hawkeye coming to the rescue of players. That second game, for example, so in Lee Chong Wei's match against Brees Levadez in the opening round. Saved him for a game by millimetres. And what a moment that was in this competition. I wonder whether Hawkeye might just save the Danes. That point might be crucial. Just need to get out of this rut. 18, 14. But the Japanese girls has has regained their lead of, of four points, and uh, I'm sure they will be very pleased with uh, bringing a lead like that up towards the match point. Well, we've seen some comebacks this week. That yesterday morning, women's doubles 12 nil up, 15 2 up. Service over. And that pair 15, lost the second game. 18. We never know what might happen yet.
Well, I expected the drive from Pedersen. She lays off to try and get you all the lift. There is that drive, and it's worked on this occasion. Hirota out the back. The Danes closing that gap gradually. 16, 18. Yeah, and the fact that it's it's very close to uh, to the final call for the Danes, I think, uh, actually makes them relax a little bit and and play better. Christina Pedersen or Badminton Denmark or her sponsors have paid for that racket. 17. Not just the 18. strings, she may as well use all of it. Can we have the court mop, please? Two shots in a row off the frame. Little bit of luck from Pedersen. And the Danes are back to within one point. Could you show her where, please? Yuki, could you show her where? to you what a follow-up four consecutive Danish points brings them right back in, in this game last that serve from you all looks short to me and it looked as though it might be a tactic did they do that on purpose well, sometimes um, I'm not sure she uh, mentally is uh, is uh, at a state 19, right now where 18. where she would choose to to deliberately serve too short. But but she's definitely told her partner that I'm I'm going to do this serve and I'm going to cover the the short return as uh, as she did so well. Well, wonderful comeback in this second game for Ruta Yule and Pedersen of Denmark. But the Japanese still one point in front. Well, Pedersen raises her hand. Was it a trick shot she's apologizing for or a miss hit? It was another miss hit that turned out to be a, be a winner. Well, like I said, somebody's paid for that frame. She may as well use it. OK, quick, quick, quickly on court. And I think, as you said earlier in the week, Lars, you make your own luck in this. Playing at such a high level and going for shots like that all. so early. It's the point that she's there to play the shot in the first place. She deserves the winner. 19 all. these two Danes can play. Twenty, game point, nineteen. Yeah, and the softer variation from uh, Ruta Juhl uh, sets up her partner at the net. Well, Pedersen serving game point Denmark to take us to a third game decider. have done it, they've turned things around in this women's double semi-final. They almost looked down and out, everything working against them for a while. Won by Camilla Rigadul, Christina Peterson, 
21-19. But what a comeback and the second game. One game all 21 19. Okay. Det er det første bevægt. Okay. Når vi angriber, og vi angriber igennem, så skal vi have net spilleren ud og dække det lige angreb, vi kommer med. Så når vi, nu slår vi lige, lige på det første. Hvis de kan samle os kryds op, så må vi kaste os efter den. Men den er vi ude. Der kommer rigtig mange. Okay? Defensiv. Højde på. Hvis vi løfter, så pakker de os. Ja, ja vi skal ud, også ud siden. Ja, ud, ud væk med dem. Ja. Hvis vi får langt ned, så bliver højde på. やっぱり、ちょっと意識しすぎですよ。リードして、そうじゃダメ。絶対ダメ。いいプレーは Ja, 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 det er mere, det er, jeg vil se. Jeg vil se, jeg vil se de her. Ja. Så, så, 20 seconds. Ja. 20 seconds. Okay, stille og roligt i gangen her. Når vi går der ind, så spiller vi sammen. Det er det mest. Well, just like both quarter-finals that we saw last night, this match going to a third game. So Any significant over. changes last One. to the tactics? Love. Uh, no, it's... it's um, they, uh, Kenneth was talking about both uh, the... The, the defense of the Japanese um, and and uh, the defense of, of the Danish players, um, and he said he he wanted them to make sure that that they gave their especially the first defensive shots height, uh, so to make sure they got over the Japanese players like this one. Well, they did give it height, but they can't keep their defensive Three. shots right to the back yeah. under that kind of pressure. No, and I could... Uh, here we can see Hirota is uh, going all the way cross-court with her smash, and, and that could be a, a change of tactics from, uh, from a Japanese point of view. Good variation. Well, going over the top, Fukushima. Cutting the attack down the channel for Hirota. Fantastic start to this third game. Denmark must stop the Japanese. Can't afford to be five points behind again. Their luck will run out at some point. Good mid-court pressure from Maruta Yule. Service over. One, four. Hirota perhaps forgetting for a split second that Ruta Yule's left-handed. Fukushima, Hirota challenge, pulled out. Well, you heard it from so Susan Taylor, the challenge from the Japanese.
challenge wasted. That always looked to be out. It challenge was a good lead. Unsuccessful. From the Danes. One challenge remaining. Two four. Play. And two points clawed back for Denmark. Service over. Five, two. Oh, good anticipation from Hiroto, but the pressure was still on from Denmark. Whether you was using her, her skills from mixed so doubles so and Three, challenging uh, five. this one, challenging the the racket movement. Variation from Pedersen, the flick serve down the middle, and it sets up the attack for the Danes once more. Ruti Yule using her height well and just that strong wrist bringing the shuttle down steep and early great shot. Well, the indecision. Danish defence standing up for a moment. Good variation from the Japanese pinned in that backhand corner. Hirota taking on Yule at the net, coming out victorious this time. Yeah, and a very good rally with, with great quality so, so from uh, from both pairs. Six, four. And Yule getting a little bit surprised by the quality of Hirota's net shot there, so it's it's not an opportunity to kill as she as she uh, thought initially. Trying too hard, perhaps, on that occasion. Oh, oh, great judgment from Pedersen. Service over. Five, six. The drift helping that one, the Service clear seven, from Pedersen. Seven, five. Taking it out wide and good judgment from Fukushima. That two-point gap still there for the Japanese. Crouch defense from Yule. She tied her up, Pedersen. She was off the body, but it made it very difficult to get any quality in the direction of that defensive shot. Eight, five. Brilliant from the Japanese.
change. Change. Nine, five. Ruta Yule not able to react quickly enough. Tiredness, fatigue surely has to start kicking in now after the week these two pairs have had. Just to think they've got to do it all again tomorrow, waiting for them in the final, of course, Chen, Ching Chen and Ye Yi Fan, the number four seeds from China they took out. The world number one pair, Misaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi, earlier today in straight games. Well, one more rally where... One of the Danes looking tired, Pedersen unable to get in to pick up that drop shot. The change of ends in the third and the Japanese ahead 11-5. Well, again, we've seen huge comebacks already this week. Tiredness, fatigue will be kicking in for both pairs. Which of them satisfied with the bronze medal? And which of them will do anything to get into that final for a gold or silver tomorrow? Kenneth Jungsen looking pretty animated in the interval last. What was he advising his young players do? Yeah, but well, they were still talking about the, the defence and... and uh, 13, 5. The, the lift was, was OK and, and it was a better height, but, but uh, the players still have to move afterwards. Um, and, and then the most important thing, I think, was that he, he's still trying to, to animate them to, to keep the fighting spirit and, and to try to make another comeback, um, as they did in the second game. Oh, crash defense five. once more, but the drive long from Pedersen. Well, this comeback would definitely go down in history. 14 5 in the third. Out. The Danes can do it, the pressure really on. Service over, 6, 14. Flick serve out wide from Pedersen. Danes maintaining the attack, good finish. Pedersen 
Dixon with a scream in disgust. She missed a relatively comfortable attacking shot. Service over. 15-7. Well, no excuse for that one other than tiredness or lapse in concentration caused by tiredness. Oh, it's called in. That one surely landed right on the line. Yeah, but they choose not to challenge. And I wow. think it was the right call, even though it was very close. Yeah, maybe caught the very back of that line. The Japanese seven points ahead of the Danes, needing just six for a place in tomorrow's final. <laughs> Brilliant from Denmark. Nine. Not often we've seen... 15. This Japanese pair rooted to the shot, uh, to the floor. Hirota stuck in the mud for a moment. Great change of pace. Ah! Well, one of the problems for the Danes is that every time they Nine. they get a roll of, of points, uh, then, then they they stop it themselves by making an, an unforced error like this one, and and that keeps the uh, the Japanese uh, comfortably uh, ahead all the time. Seventeen. Well, comfortable. Nine. It's a good word to describe the lead. They have eight points. And a sense of inevitability, really, over the result of this match. Surely at this scoreline. But the Danes won't go down without a fight. Great smash Service into the over. body. 10, 17. Look at this. You will know she, she has to cover her forehand and, and is anticipating the, the opportunity there. Great length and accuracy on the shot from Pedersen, forcing Hirota very late in her forehand corner. 18, 11. Yeah, attack down the middle. Sorry, last. And good rotation here. The good coverage of the court. Leave the net open and, and cover the, the cross court lift. Oh, well played, Patterson. Good defense. Put that backhand into the net, about halfway up the net. 19, 11. The shot falling short, the performance of the Danes in this third game falling short. And, and at the right time, she she stepped up uh, with a hole. Japanese coaching staff almost laughing at what just happened. 
Yule on the floor. Well, she's just staying out down. Of the game, and Hirota just gave the shuttle to her. <laughs> of the cheeks from Fukushima. Exhausted, but almost there, 19-12. Near enough, last chance for Denmark. Picture tells us everything. Pedersen frustrated. Service over. 20. Match point 12. Nervousness. The concentration on the faces of Japan. Fukushima taking her time. Match point. Yule in early, Pedersen to kill, and match point saved, Denmark. Service over, 13, 20. Well, just seven more of those to save. Ritter uh, Yule and Pedersen of Denmark. 14. And that serve return into the net from Hirota. Another lifeline. Good serve from Pedersen at this particular moment. The pressure really on. Fifty fifty solid rally from both good defense. Oh, that's good from Pedersen. Well, you can hear in the crowd the tension building. You're looking tired. Come on, Camilla, you can keep going. It's gone out. She's exhausted. Too much to ask for the Danes. They settle for a bronze medal. But a very solid performance from Yuki Fukushima and Sayak Hirota in this women's doubles semi final. Confirmation of that scoreline then. Fukushima Hirota come through to World Fukushima. Championship final tomorrow in the three Hirota. games over the Danes. 21-17, 19, 19, 21-21-14. Massive smiles for the Japanese and well-deserved their teammates. World number ones falling yesterday in the quarterfinals. Great to see women's doubles for Japan into tomorrow's final, perhaps not the pair we expected. But after the performance they put in today and all week, they fully deserve that spot. And well, they will be facing Chinese opposition in tomorrow's final. Chinese opposition who knocked out Matsutomo and Takahashi in the other semi-final in straight games. Chen Ching Chen and Ye Yi Fan, the number four seeds, looking in incredible form this week. And it's going to be another tough fight for Fukushima and Hirota.
so much to admire. Let's take a look at some of the best of that women's doubles action. So badminton world championships action live from the emirates arena here in glasgow we are two semi-finals down what a day it's been some of the best badminton from around the world here in glasgow we've got mixed doubles up for you next the world number one pair the young stars from china Cheng Si Wei and Chen Ching Chen, they're up against Mr. and Mrs. Adcock, the married couple pair from England. Well, you saw yesterday China, Indonesia, Hong Kong, England in one half of the draw. China, Indonesia, Hong Kong, China in the second half of the the draw we've got Indonesians already through Ahmed and Natsia in tomorrow's final waiting for the winner of this match up next well Chris and Gabby Adcock in their white kit making their way out to court ah they look good in whites don't they Cheng Siwei and Chen Ching Chen already out onto number one court. 